couldn't help him. So they said, if you can't cure me, at least let me die in peace. So he sent them away. As he was very much, uh, very liked by the population, a grower from the town went up to the castle with his best barrel of wine, offered it to the prince and said, why don't you try that? That has always helped my family. So the prince had to sip the sip the sip, and by the time the barrel was finished, the prince wasn't finished. No, he had recovered. So he called again for the grower to thank him. And the grower, as it is in nice old stories, was a very humble man. And he said, uh, when he was asked what he would like to have, he said, well, there's really nothing I need. I live in a beautiful area, have great vineyards, nice family. There's absolutely nothing that I really need. So the prince said, if I can't give you anything, then I'll, then I'll, I'll give you one thing. And that is, I'll give you the right, he wrote out the paper, to call the, uh, the, wine, uh, the vineyard the doctor, because it's the only real doctor in the world. And my husband added to that, and a glass of doctor, they keeps the apple away, and it's much more enjoyable. Mm. For Tanish <coughs> as such, we go in there, the cellar is about 450 years old. It was, uh, uh, it was built as an ice cellar. pre fresh times, you still need it in summer, you need something where you could chill your, f uh, your food. So they um, cut out pieces of ice from the weather in winter, brought them in there, and with that they had ice till summer.